So another really anticipated game mode is uh, Draft Champions. Ultimate Team we'll get to, but first, Drafty Champions. I tried head-to-head -head a few times, and it wouldn't search for someone. I, w I couldn't find anyone. So we're just going to do a solo draft for now. Oh, okay. So I guess I'm not. I guess we're doing a head-to-head. -head. Is it... Well, obviously, obviously, I'm choosing Pete Carroll. Love his playbooks. Okay, what is our first pick? What is it? We got Garoppolo and all them. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Okay, so this one's actually really tough. Block shed 82. Also, let me know in the comment script. Just comment description, comment section, what you guys would take. Muhammad Wilkerson, I'm looking at, but they are a 4-3 defense, to be fair. Uh, I think we're going to go Fletcher. It's tough. It's really tough. What do we have here? Okay, so I'm a Packer fan, but I don't know. Mario Williams would be a really great fit for Fletcher Cox. But TJ Lang is a great blocker, though. Um, man zone. Brent Grimes is definitely not the answer. Um, hmm. Power move 88. Block shed 75. I think we're going to go TJ Lang. TJ Lang. Cam Newton, man. This is tough. Okay. Um... Jesus, uh, I feel like we're gonna get another quarterback. It's gonna, it's gonna kill me, because I think the game knows that a lot of people like Cam Newton in this game, or just in Madden in general. But Cordy Glenn's a really good player. But I think everyone would kill me if I didn't take Cam. So we're taking Cam. Okay, so this is interesting. Tolik's gonna be slow. Yeah, Vontez is slow, but he's really good. Strong safety, 82 speed. I think it's no doubt Vontez perfect. Paul plus Lesney. Okay, what do we have now? Okay, so this is interesting. We've already taken a middle linebacker, but the linebacker position is actually really important in this scheme. So we might just go ahead and take another one. Although we do have Larry Fitzgerald right here, who's got really good catching. He's a little slow. You know what? I think we are taking Larry. We're taking Larry. I'm surprised I didn't take Mosley there, but we're taking Larry Fitzgerald. Okay, so we already have our quarterback. No doubt we're taking one of these two. Another Packers guy. Love my Packers, but we, we're not going to call everyone out. Centers aren't as important as left guards. And I think just the stats alone speak for themselves. So Josh Sitton is our man. There we go. Now what are we looking at? Okay, so another quarterback. Mikey Upati. See, this is the fun of draft champions. It pretty much forces me to take Matt Forte. If I would have known, and I love Mikey Yapati in, in Madden, if I would have known, totally would have took uh, Unger. But we're taking Forte. We're going to have another running back option. It's going to suck, but, I mean, we have to. You know what? We're going to take the free safety. It's it's weird of me to do that, but we're going to. Bernard's got some speed, but Dwayne Allen's one hell of a blocking tight end. So, Bernard or... We're taking Dwayne. We just got Matt Forte. Although Bernard would have been a really good change of pace back. Oh, this is killer. Wait, no. We didn't take uh, Mosley. We didn't take Mosley. So, yeah, we're taking Clay. I'm a Packer fan, and we're taking Clay. Please, some more elites, more elites. Yeah. More elites. Okay, so we already have a right end. but We could always put one of them in left end. Volmer is not the greatest, but... But we do have Matt Forte. We're going to take Volmer. We're going to take Volmer. The other option was Charles Johnson, but we're taking Volmer. I love some Martellus Bryant or Bryant Bennett. But I guess to be fair, we kind of need another wideout. So we're going to take Andre here. Although this is going to be a wideout legend. Okay. 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 This is, this is very interesting. We don't have a left tackle, and this left tackle is really good. But Jason frickin' Taylor. I haven't used this man since Madden 11. 
And Bruce Smith can probably play anywhere on the field, so I don't know. It's obviously between one of these two, in my opinion, even though the left tackle position is really important. We need that pass rush. I think we're taking Jason Taylor. And this is the head-to-head -head one, I'm pretty sure, so we have to see... Okay, so we have to see... I'm pretty sure we're playing someone, right? We play against opponent. If it goes past the 105, then we'll uh, then we'll back out. Um, I kind of hope it does because I don't want to lose my first game already. That draft was really fun, so I wouldn't mind doing another one just for the offline and then just doing a quick game. If it's, it's past 105. Okay, so we have this offense. So we have this home. You're proud. Okay, it will be safe. So now can we do a solo one? We have to wait three minutes before I can draft again. Hopefully I keep the head-to-head -head one. I'm pretty sure I do, which is pretty freaking cool. You get to keep your progress. So if you have a bad draft, you're kind of boned. Um, as you can see, you get mutt rewards. Uh, we'll be back when these two minutes are up, so then we can actually do a draft again, and we'll do a solo. Okay, we're back with the draft. This is the solo draft. All day, every day, Pete... MF Carroll. I'm telling you guys, Pete MF Carroll. Pete Carroll is the dude. He is the guy. Oh, we have Christian Ponder this time. So we start out with a bang. As I think everyone will agree, this is a bang. This is also an extremely difficult decision. Like, you have two elites sitting here, but you have Alshon Jeffrey. So, eeny, meeny, miny, to I'm just kidding. We're clearly taking out Sean. He's so good. Oh, Eli Manning, hell no. I'll use Christian Ponder over him. Running back, Bobby Rainey. You see Bobby Rainey, Kendall, uh, Kendall Hunter? Those guys aren't too bad to start. But I don't want to take another wide receiver, to be fair. Change of pace back, Bernard is over here. This is a tough one. It's not even a huge pick, to be honest, but it's a tough one. You do need three wideouts, so we'll take Ruben Randall because we're gonna get we're gonna get another running back. I think we're gonna get another running back. Elvis Doomerville. Um. Okay. So Elvis Doomerville is here. Okay. He is really low in stats. I didn't. Th is Elvis is Elvis Doomerville a coverage guy now? I I don't know. Um. William Gay. I'm surprised he's that fast. But we passed on him once. We're not. Okay, Joe Flacco. I don't want to be stuck with one of these um, bad quarterbacks, but I don't want Joe Flacco. This is this isn't a great draft so far, but we have a lot of rounds left. We're gonna take Jason Hatcher. We're gonna take him. Let me know. Like I said, we're probably gonna take Xavier here. I'm just gonna let you know. But um, his looseness is low. I don't care about that. But um. Let me know what you guys would do differently. I think Xavier Rhodes is a hell of a steal here. I think he should be an elite with those stats. Okay, finally an actual elite. Andre Smith is a pretty good tackle. But I love me some Eupati. As you guys seen in the other one, I mentioned it. I love Eupati. Brandon Brooks. Mike Evans, though. Okay. Mike frickin' Evans. This is tough. Mike Evans or Brandon Brooks? What do you guys think? Low impact, good run block. We'd have two really good running block guys, so we'd have to hope for a running back. I think we already have two good uh, wide outs, so let's just take Brooks. Okay, Vince Wilfork. I'm a Packer fan, but Tremont Williams isn't a Packer anymore. So, without a question, Vince Wilfork. He was my dude last Madden. A little low on the power move, but that's all right. Good block shed. Okay. Um... This is tough. This is, without a doubt, the hardest pick we've had so far. Because everyone's just sitting there like, uh, are you stupid? Damakong Su, are you dumb? But DRC is that dude that is super underrated in, like, the terms of his overall. But we have to take Su. We have to, I'm hoping for another D-end. Okay, so we did get our DN we wanted. Cliff Averill. So we'd have to put Hatcher at left end, even though he's not really for the scheme. But I do think I like the versatility of Bruce. 
because he has the ability to pass rush. He does have the ability. So I think we're going to take Bruce Irvin because he can play multitude of different things. And he is a, you know, he's a Seahawk. We don't have a middle linebacker yet. So we're definitely taking Mosley. We've already showed you Brent. Brent's really slow. I don't know how speed plays into it, but CJ Mosley, we're not passing on him again. I'm a sucker for Travis Frederick. Oh, I don't know if I can even say but at this point. We really need a quarterback, by the way. Any quarterback that comes, I love how I say that. Matt Ryan's here. Do we take Matt Ryan? Because we need a quarterback. We really do. But we do have the good help outside with Alshon Jeffrey and Reuben Randall. So I think we're going to take LaShawn. We're going to hope for a quarterback. Come on. Three picks, quarterback. Okay, so this is where they're kind of rewarding you for not taking Pouncey. Or was it Pouncey? It was two Pounceys, wasn't it? No, it was someone else, I think. Was it? No, yeah, it was Travis Frederick. It was Travis Frederick. So we're going to actually take Pouncey here to solidify that inside. Please be a quarterback somewhere here. Aaron freaking Rodgers. Anthony Sherman's out the door. There's no doubt we're not taking him. Aaron freaking Rodgers. There's no way there's another quarterback coming. I'm a Packer fan. Aaron freaking Rodgers. That's all you got to say. Aaron Rodgers. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. I took Jason Taylor last time. So no matter what, we're going to take Jan John Randall. We're set at DT. Steve freaking Atwater or Jason Taylor. We already have Jason Taylor. And I love Steve Atwater. But we're taking Jason Taylor again. He's, he's such a talent. Haven't seen him in, in Madden for so long. So, you know, that's our team. If it wasn't for that last second Rodgers, our team would suck. But I think this team might be a little better just because of that lucky Rodgers. We're going to play one game of this. And, uh, yeah. I don't know what the skill... That's the kind of catch of playing against uh, AI. I don't know, but this is going to be the last part of the video. Don't know how much you guys are going to see of this anyways. We get to finally see what Aaron Rodgers can do with Alshon Jeffrey. It's a matchup everyone wants to see, I'm telling you. So how many wins do we need? Jason Taylor's out there and the blocker? Hell yeah, that's cool. That is freaking cool. Does that mean you can do that on this game? Like, can I put Aaron Rodgers at kicker turner? Like, in real life, if Terrell Pryor was still at um, quarterback, I think teams if that don't start him at quarterback would debate putting him back there, you know? Terrell Pryor is totally that kind of dude that could probably make a difference on a kicker turn. Hickson's not good. Stop showing him. He's not good. Aaron Rodgers. OG. That look at the man right there. Aaron Rodgers. Doesn't fully look like him, but it looks a lot better than last year, in my opinion. So, so I also have to get used to a playbook. I don't have a playbook yet. I don't know who the hell Croft is. I think Fells used to be a Rams player, possibly. Sean McCoy. Glad we got LaShawn because uh, we have nothing else inside. Catch it. Good job, Randall. It's pretty much going to be Randall, Jeffrey, McCoy, and that's pretty much it. I'm going to have uh, Fells block here so I can kind of run to the side here. Alshon Jeffrey is god on this game. Like Alshon Jeffrey, ever since he entered the league, has been so damn good on Madden. He's been such a solid player. Don't know what the difficulty is. I really hope it's like super duper difficulty. Kind of feel it's not. So it does actually tell you what um, what you did in red. So anything you did bad, it, it tells you on the game. What the hell is a fake screenshot? Either you get a screenshot or you don't. So I wasn't supposed to throw to the screen. I know that. But I kind of panicked and I didn't want to throw it away. As Rodgers would do in real life. So Got to give me props for keeping it realistic to the real world. So how, who's in right now? Oh, uh, McCoy's still in. I would have ran a screen if I would have known. We have no one on the inside. We might just have to float one to the top and test Alshon. And we're doing it. 
Alshon freaking Jeffrey. That's what we're talking about. He's got that catch. So you got to expect that once in a while. I know a lot of people are like, oh, face catching and all that, but he's got really damn good spec catch. Let him have one once in a while. Come on now. I, I came up at the right time and all that. Okay, so this D line is ferocious. Those are their stars, or those are the guys we have to watch out for? Because they're not really stars. Our whole damn D-line is stars. Bjorn Warner with a huge hit. We don't have good corners, really. We don't have anything good in the secondary. That was a good read by Xavier Rhodes, though. I mean, I guess I did switch to him, but he was kind of he's kind of making the play before I got there. You know, you know what I mean? This recording's gone on for a little bit. He's a finesse bat guy, right? Oh, yeah, he is. Job Leonard. Good stop. Let's freaking go. So I wonder, actually, if it's a four, if it's a thing by fourth basis, maybe this is rookie. I didn't really check the kick power. I wasn't paying attention. Maybe this is rookie, Nexus, pro, all pro, all Madden. What do you guys think? I think it could. I think that makes a lot of sense. But I don't know if that's how they did it. We'll find out. Find out once I get another chance to kick it. I'll tell you if it's harder or not. Or you guys could probably see it. So I'm getting into the game. I'm sliding in. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I like this game. This game is freaking awesome. And I'm... Take it. If you watch any of my videos, you'll know that I sit in a terrible spot. So my back actually hurts after a little bit. Like an hour or so. And I'm having fun still. LaShawn McCoy. Killing it out here. I mean, it's not the hardest difficulty. You can tell it's it's definitely under all pro, without a doubt. But it's still, I mean, if you watch some of the other videos I've made on, Mutt, on Madden already, you'll know that I'm not playing that good on this gear. Damn. See, if I was a little more veteran, I would have made, I still would have made the cutback because I love making cutbacks in this game. That, that's what you'll see if you watch me play. But... There, I just I just don't really know the kind of things I need to know for this game. Ooh, that was risky. I hope you can't take injuries in this that, like, progress over the seasons because Aaron Rodgers has always been known as a... Wow, that's that guy's card? That's freaking cool. The dude's card is him, like, hitting someone. But uh, Aaron Rodgers always had really bad injury in this game for some reason. And by for some pass interference, pass interference. Alshon Jeffrey crushed him on the route. Is that actually them fighting? We're not playing the. Maybe we'll win. Maybe we won't. What a freaking catch, man! It's not a good corner. I'm allowing EA to allow it at some point. Still got to get used to the game before I feel comfortable playing online. Hopefully you guys can understand that. Which honestly might not be that long for you guys. Because like I said, I'm playing this earlier than I can record it. Or upload it. So, you know, I might be a super beast at this game. This is a solid catch. This is on a low difficulty, I think, too. So, for you solo challenge warriors, aka... Me, I also play a lot of Head Dead Seasons, obviously. But for you solo challenge warriors that love to knock those solos out ASAP, get a tall player, because if they're on a low difficulty, you're just going to be able to jump it, jump it every day. And it's not even really face catching. It's literally like sometimes the corner just doesn't jump to the peak to, to catch it. It's not really a face catch if, it's, if you're behind him. It's more of like a rocket catch, I guess. It's pretty good. You got Bruce Irvin out there. Super speed demon, pretty much a cornerback. How fast he is. Who is that? Sue? Number 93? Is that his number in real life too or no? Or did we already have a number 93 before we drafted Sue and then it gave him a different number? That's more likely, right? Because I freaking hope Sue doesn't have his wrong number in real life. That's what makes Sue Sue is number 90. See, look at the animations in this game. 
There's some solid animations in this game. That is so freaking cool. Honestly, some of these animations might be more realistic than real life. Like, there's there's actual player flaws. Oh, I don't got him. Damn. Oh, killing me softly. Killing me. Also, another thing. Suction tackles. Bye-bye. They're gone. I just tried the one. That totally should have worked. Didn't happen. Good play by them. Good play to spin it. The AI already seems more in tune with what they're doing, even if it's on a low level, which I can't tell. Like I said, I don't know. I'll give you the report soon. If I get another score or get another chance to score a field goal or something, we'll, we'll have the report in. Oh, ankle breaker. So slow as Javier Arenas, though. Maybe put in LaShawn McCoy, a punt returner for the next one. And stroke or something. Oh, that was risky. Good catch. What a great throw by Rodgers. That is why you draft Rodgers when you see him in draft champions. Who is our other option? Oh, uh, Antonio Brown. That's what it was. You know, maybe if they would have gave me a harder choice. But second to last pick, and I've got Aaron Rodgers sitting at my table. What a throw. What a dart. But I got Aaron Rodgers sitting there. I'm picking him up. He's my he's my dude. And take it. As a huge Packer fan I am, I'm not really that much of a fan of Rodgers in the game because I'm I'm kind of into those guys that are at least 80 speed. We're going for another aggressive. Oh, my God. It's so ridiculous. So ridiculous against the AI on a low difficulty. It's a lot of speculation. We'll have to figure out soon. As we play, keep playing draft champions. That was really sloppy by me. But Jason Taylor such an OG brother that he can just do that. Oh, yikes. I almost took out my own guys like ACL. It's been in the morning. User play, really? I'm, I'm surprised they didn't give it to me. Good play. I don't know who their running back is. Who is that? Is it really Terrence West? Ah, oh, come on, game. I should really be usering for you guys. Oh, wow, really? They still have that crap in this game? Oh, well. I'm going to play some um, middle linebacker. I'm going to play it in this cam, which I don't really like too much. But if you hold it like this, yep, it's just like last year. You get to, uh, if you hold right trigger, it automatically keeps you out in that big form. So I like that. We're just going to run the trap. Traps are always great. Well, I guess to be fair, this is a new Madden. Traps are usually great in Madden. LaShawn McCoy's got some room to the outside. LaShawn McCoy making moves down to the 17-yard line as the same number as the big playmaker himself, Alshon Jeffrey. And apparently, that run was good enough to actually put the game away. So uh, we'll take that. Pretty dominating game, as expected. Rodgers, let's show the stats. I mean, pretty much what you expect from Aaron Rodgers. Missing three passes, no picks. Really good game from Andy Dalton, too, to give him to give him credit. Aaron Rodgers with a perfectionate passer rating, I'm pretty sure. While Andy Dalton, not far behind. LaShawn McCoy doing great. Aaron Rodgers, yeah, that's that. 7 for 139 for Jeffrey. 4 for 43, LaShawn McCoy. No touchdown, but he set up a few touchdowns, which is great. Um, Ruben Randall's still fine in his own. Blocking, it's nice to see nobody giving up a sack, even though I did have to take a couple of hits. Um, Jason Taylor was all over the quarterback. I know I used her with him mostly, but pretty good play. Kick returning, we don't really have an answer for that, and I don't want to risk LaShawn McCoy because I think you could get injured. I'm not sure. I'll look more into it. If you can't get injured, LaShawn McCoy is being back there. Punt return, kick returner. Um, like I said, let me know of the two drafts we had. Um, obviously you're going to see more of both because I don't think he cancel either of them. Two more wins, win more games, earn more awards. It's that simple. Mystery reward. Don't show you guys all of it. I will show you guys the reward. So I promise you that I haven't even played Mutt yet. And that's crazy to think it's crazy in my opinion. Wait, I'm, I got a little excited here, but wait. After I get two more wins, I get to draft a whole nother team? Hell yeah. I, 
I love drafting so much. I'm like addicted to it. But we won't see Ultimate Team for a little bit. I mean, I won't see Ultimate Team for a little bit. You guys will see it on the exact date. But I'm going to try to complete all the skills trainer stuff to get all the rewards. And maybe even get the draft champion reward. So then we can get all these things combined. But um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you stick around the channel and uh, become a romantic. It's always better when you're Mr. Romantic. But not everyone can be Mr. Romantic like me. But um, hopefully you enjoyed and you stick around and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.